I am gorgeous. Look at me go. I am absolutely stunning. I am the king of everything. <laughs> this looks so stupid. Oh my god, I'm not sure about these pants. Like, what is going on down here? What is that? I'm wearing shorts and pants at the same time. Pick one. Stick to it. What do I need for the rest of this? Um, uh, sage set. I need the pants and the boots. Padding in and of itself just costs, takes so much time to put together. And the yellow fabric, I need saffron, which I have run low on. Um, but anyway. Welcome back to Enshrouded, everyone. And I'm so glad everyone had such a good time with the last part. Um, I have been having a ball. Um, I still need to do... Look, listen, just understand when I say this that, um... Yeah, look, I will get to the house. It will look better. Um, that's just not gonna happen yet because I've got things I want to do. But... We will eventually do something different. This will not be committing the cardinal sin of just being a big rectangle with smaller rectangles inside it for much longer. <laughs> uh, but I've been having an absolute ball. I've been just trying to collect resources and craft new armor sets. Like, look at this. Like, this was the sage set, which I thought looked so cool when we're looking at it in the menu, but, like, none of the stats helped. So, I've started crafting it. I've got the helmet, the chest, and the gloves, and then I have got... Um, I need the pants and the boots, but I have... Uh, decided the the archer boots kind of go so they're all right um, and the boots I've got the mystic boots on so they kind of go with the whole theme um, so yeah that's what I've been up to also the uh, the big plat or whatever it is that's coming out the back I think is very spiffy so today as you might guess we are going back into the good old Blackmire because if you did miss the last episode as always I'll link it in the top right for you but we went out and started actually exploring the new area of the update. So we're going to do a little bit more of a deep dive into the Blackmire. Look at some places we haven't been to. Um, we've got a quest up here to get a magic arrow, um, which is kind of cool. Um, so we will actually just fast travel out here. Oh. This song does things to my brain. I can't remember what it is. I think it's, it's like snow on the mountaintops or something from the sh soundtrack. This song is just gorgeous. I I love it. Um, it's just a beautiful piece of music. All right, well, while we stand up here, I do quite like this outfit. I think it's cool. I reckon that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to constantly be changing up my appearance because there's so many armor sets I thought were so cool. Um, but they didn't help me out with what I was doing. Oh, I could just stand here and listen to this all day. All right, let's get out here and do this because as soon as I do what we have to do, I can start w aimlessly wandering around. Um, but I'll probably get sidetracked anywho because that is just who I am. So let's go find this magical arrow. And I do just absolutely adore this location. I think it is so cool to again have a new area that is just full of trees um, because as you know, the late game in Enshrouded, if you don't know actually, um, is all in like deserty areas so it's nice to kind of get back to some greenery all right so we need to get down there all right well let's go down here let's check out what this is the location below oh we got a note oh hello i'm guessing that's it um the message above it was written by the ancients. Their strange and melodic call pierces the deafening void and brings forth those who are worthy and just. I cannot read it. I only see a blur. The message is not for me. I fear. I try to study it, to understand it. But the more I learn, the more I discover how much I do not know. I can observe the sunken city from here, but not entirely in peace. Someone disturbed my research with an agonizing whistle recently. I thought it was a scavenger at first, but thankfully I was wrong. Perhaps they will learn the, stars me the star message's meaning. To all... Who followed the call, take my arrows and let them guide you. Alright. And that's the Eternal Frost Arrow. Do I actually have a bow on me? The one time I don't have a bow. Don't worry, I'll find a chest and I'll get one. Um, but these are essentially like my Eternal Ice Bolt, my Eternal Fireball. These were added to the game. They are a never-ending arrow supply. So you no longer do you have to craft 10,000 arrows and <laughs> store that all in your backpack. Um, you do have an option for this. It does cost mana, so you may want to spec into... Um, I think it's Spirit that gives you 
um, mana um, or a bigger mana bar. But otherwise, it's very useful. Find all the hidden crafting recipes in the black fire. Let them guide you. So there's a whole bunch of stuff hidden in this area. But we don't really get a marker for it. Oh, that's so, so cool. I have so much of an excuse to go out exploring. Now, something I did want to do... Let's just have a look at our little area here. Oh, that's that's different. Oh, Vuka. I guess they got a structure around this side? Alright, well, let's go crash the party, I guess. Hello! What up, friend? Um, also, I was very sad to see that they did a patch update. Um, oh yeah, I'll take that. After the big update that they released, they did like a little like hotfix patch and they removed the ability to spam um, the merciless attack, which I knew they were going to take out eventually, but it was nice while it lasted. All right, so this was just a little area. I mean, they have built underneath the tree roots here. All right, let's move over here. Again, we are massively overleveled for this area, um, which doesn't really concern me because I can basically just focus on my exploration a little bit. I will still get jump scared by everything because that's just how I am. Um, t my wife actually asked me, she's like, why do you get jump scared so much when you play games? And honestly, it's just because in games I love, I get very immersed. Um, so for me, it kind of feels like I'm here. I'm just very in the world so when something kind of catches me unawares uh it, it genuinely scares the absolute hell out of me um i wish i could say it was all just for youtube views and you know that sort of thing but it is it is absolutely not <laughs> i'm trying to think what else did i want to do out here i really wanted actually i know exactly what i want to try and do give me a second that you see this this looks mountainy to me and I want to see how far up we can go. So that has now become my objective. This could be this could be cut together very quickly, depending on how successful I am, um, and whether that's even really possible. But you had better believe I am going to try. I just want to see if there's anything interesting. Um, whether this is just a world boundary, whether I can actually get to the top of this, I want to find that out. That is priority number one. Because, yes, we did not get the mountains in this update, but I do know they're coming sometime this year. Um, so for now, I am just taking what I can get. Now, I think I spotted something just over here. Maybe I didn't see anything. All right, well, we're going to go up around this way because it looks like that takes me further up. Oh, listen to that music. Damn. I like that. Okay, this is where things get tricky. This is going to be a little fiddly. This whole journey is probably going to be pretty cut down because it is just a lot of me trying to kind of cheese my way up because I don't know how much we're supposed to be able to. Um, but I am giving it a damn good try. So I'll only mainly cut you back in if I, if I want to talk to you about something um, or I see something particularly interesting. Now this I'm going to keep you here for because uh, my thought is if I can get a glide and an updraft, I can make it over there. I don't know if that's possible. We are going to try. Oh, this was a horrible mistake. This was a bad mistake. Oh, this was a big mistake. That's cost me so much progress. Okay, never mind. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I could get onto that tree. I feel like I could kind of get up there, you know? I might try that. Okay, fuck it. Let's try it. This is the, uh, what we call the money shot right here. <laughs> Now, if I can cut this tree down, I should be able to just scoot my way over that side. Should being the uh, key word there. Oi! Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we made it. Beautiful. Um, the sun is getting low, which is not something I factored into my plans. Um, probably should have. We are getting up pretty high though, so I mean, this is this is working. I don't really know what I do from this point. I guess I'll just try some bombs. Okay. Aha! Suck it! I am a genius! Oh, and it is getting night time. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't normally do this, but this took so much effort to get up here, and I don't want to do that again. 
Um, we are going to leave this for a second. I might return to it to the end because I don't want to use all my time just trying to get up into the mountains. But it is cool to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly craft myself a flame altar. Yep, give me one of them. Um, and we are going to pop you enough free space. Cannot build here. God damn it! Well, we made it pretty high. You can't see anything, though, because it's nighttime. We, I really can't see anything. But, uh, hey, we, we made it up pretty, pretty high. Um, I am going to put a marker down so that if I do decide to come back here, create a marker. Uh, this can be... No, it's going to be a white treasure chest because that this is the real treasure. Getting to the top of this fucking mountain. All right, let's head back home. I'm going to grab a bow and we're going to test out this um, eternal arrow. In the morning, though, when we can actually see stuff. So give me a second and uh, we'll be back soon. All right, it is a brand new day. Now, I don't have any uh, kind of upgraded bows, so I don't want to test this out anywhere where it's going to be a little too hairy. So we're just going to go have a peek at how this works over here where there's some pretty low level fell hanging around. Oh yeah, that sounds healthy. There you go. Oh yeah. And you can see the mana drain just up there. Because I'm not going to be doing any major damage with this because I haven't specced into this at all. But you can see it's a pretty respectable mana drain. Like, it's not going to be anything too crazy. Um, if you have anything that's going to boost your mana, it's going to really help you out just kind of managing that. But it's nice that you can kind of just, you know, fire away. That's pretty nifty. I don't think it's changed my mind on bows. Um, I think... <sighs> I think we are going to just stick to what I've been doing. But it is pretty cool. I do like it. Um, and it's a good option. Some things require a bow, so having that always be available and you don't have to worry about all the arrows i think that's pretty neat all right let me put this back and we're going to continue back out again all right well since that was a bit of a fail we couldn't kind of get where i wanted to go now it's time to pick a direction and have a bit of a look because supposedly there are all kinds of crafting recipes hidden out here and that we have a lot of ground to cover i think i want to go check this out So let's go have a look over here, because I, I want to see what else I can find. Um, because this is an area the ancients were in, so... We can find more about them. That is absolutely something I want to kind of have a look at. So I was headed just over this way, so that's the tar pits. We have actually been out to this area before. Uh, I'm trying to think about where... Oh, that's the bridge. Okay, so this would be the bridge, I'd guess. This big tunnel just here. Alright, so we're going to head over in this direction. Get rid of that one. Alright, let's get on. Let's get a move on. This is so cool. I love this. Um, I wish there wasn't shroud, but that's okay. <laughs> Watch your footing, though, because... You will fall straight down, and I'm just not in the mood for that, really. Okay, not much shroud to worry about. Um, it's just, I guess, because it got lower down. Alright, so let's just have a look. I'm trying to just follow some of the pathways and just see where they sort of want to take us. So we've got something up here. This looks like another maybe treehouse or something. I thought something wanted to take me out then. That's okay. Okay, trampoline. Um, I'm guessing up here. Oh yeah, this looks like a little booker thing. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure where else I can go with this. Oh wait, no, there's a grappling point over there. I saw that. I'm taking... I'm still getting used to these things. Alright, so over here. Up here. This is very nice. A little getaway from everything. Okay, so I'm guessing we're not just out here for no reason. Yeah, look, there's more places to climb. Another grappling point. Dude, can I get up there? Thank you. Why is there a dead booker? And why is there this very suspicious mound of stuff? Oh! hello plated block oh that's cool okay so we can actually use the um the crafting material for that the book you use i like that is there anything else up here let's just get let's just get up here you never know what you're gonna find around the next corner this is so cool this already has base potential like do a bit more of like a nature indoors type thing you know 
be very nifty. Okay, so that's our world boundary over here. I can't go much further that way. Uh, oh, what's over here? Oh, a little Vooker encampment. And and other things that just I hate. I hate these things. Okay, get get out of here. Oh, I hate. I hate it. This this little poison helmet is is the mark of shame. Just getting tagged by that thing. Oh, so this is an example of like a oh look little seat. Can I lose this, please? Look at this. Cool little tree stump. I quite like that. So this would be a Vuka camp that's been overrun. Like the walls have been torn through. Unless someone's in here. Aha! Nope. Yeah, look at this. It's all kind of caved in on itself. So this is like a ruined Vuka camp. This is nifty. I like this. Again, I said it before, but I really do like seeing that the Vuka have actual camps. Okay, let's take stock. Where are we exactly? Some sort of question mark. Unless that's below. That could very well be below us instead of above. Unless it's up there. Which I doubt. You know what? Very easy way to check this. If we set this as the waypoint, it'll tell us if location below. Yeah, okay, cool. I was wondering if those question marks might mean something different in this area, but no, it seems like they still relate to, like, the shroud. Dude, leave me alone. Those goddamn gators. Okay, well, we haven't actually... I know that's the world boundary over there, but we haven't really, um... Let's see how far we can push things. I'm not going to try and break anything. But I just want to see if I can come across anything cool like we've been coming across. This glider makes traveling so easy. Alright, let's follow the pathway this way. So I think we went up there last time. Yeah, we did. So we got another pathway off this way. Another road running through here. So yeah, this place is very wild. No people are settled here, which surprise, surprise for that. Um, I think I was going to go check this area out. See, it looks like that starts mixing into deadly shrouds, so be very careful near the edge, otherwise I will die. Oh, what's this? Great. Some sort of runes? It's some kind of elvish. I can't read it. <laughs> um, Alright, so this is definitely the end, but there is a, there's a grave just hanging out here, and I have no context as to who or why it's here. Okay, so that's obviously our world boundary there. We've got more around the big tree and more up over in this corner. And there's something over here. I think I spotted it last. Hang on, let's let's travel back here. I think we've seen all we can on this side. Let's just go have a look over there. I really have no bearing on where these um, crafting recipes are going to be. Yeah, look at that. I think that's a, an ancient structure down there. I want to go have a look at that. But we're going to start, as always, by going up high first. And just having a bit of a peek at what I'm looking at down here. Yeah, there's another bridge and there's something there. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, let's just try and stick the landing right there, please. Drop down here. Okay, what's this? What is this thing? Oh, it's another one of these. These are all over the place. And the fact that they're adding them in here means they're going to be pretty significant. I'm wondering, you know, I always try to, I always try to tell the future and I don't know if I can, but I'm wondering if these are going to be entrances to like the, they've got on the roadmap instance, instanced dungeons, if I can say that right. And they're essentially supposed to be, yeah, they're going to be just dungeons that you have to load into. And so I'm wondering if that's what these are eventually going to become. Anyway, question for another time. Leave the dough alone. All right, well, I guess now we're over this side. Um, I might want to try and make my way up over here. This really is just untamed wilderness. Like, that is that is the best way I can describe it. There's not much in the way of structures outside of what the Booker have built. And the only other settlements are, like, the ruins of the ancients. Like, there's Al. There's not much else going on. Okay, let's see if I can maybe make it up that side. Why am I making this more difficult on myself when I could probably just go over here? And yeah, as I expected, there is a pathway through here. There we go. Here I am just making life very difficult on myself. You can just take the tree trunk up. I just, I love this. 
There's little fallen trees hollowed out, made a little bridge. There's another grave. What are, what are all these graves? They've got to be important. Okay, hang on. I'm going to be very disrespectful. One second. Oh, they do have something under here. Archer boots. Ah, okay, so the graves are going to give me stuff. Oh, well, that's good to know. Um, and I think that's back to where we found the bard. So just over there. Alright, so it's a decent expansion. There's no It's nothing too crazy. Alright, let's go check out that section over there. And you know what? Back to the tower. That's just the easiest way to do it. I really just want to kind of get the lay of the land. It, exploring in here is difficult. They've done a really good job. I just marked this on my map. Set a waypoint over there. Of really helping, making it feel like this untamed just part of the world that no one was successfully able to build in because yeah navigating and everything of like that is so difficult okay so that's the sunken ancient city we've been there all right let's follow the road so this would have been the gates get the hell out of me let's follow this maybe we'll find some more ancient ruins out this way is that just leading back up to the big tree i think it is yeah so that's the big tree just up there all right so let's deviate a little. Of course, we got my giant wasp friends. That's always great. Oh, we've got a paths down here. Okay, hang on. Let's get onto the road and see where this goes. So that's going to lead us into Shroud, because of course it is. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I guess we go into the Shroud try and stick to the path as much as we can and just see what this leads to these shroud boars um genuinely pretty terrifying all right what do we got down here let's switch it up to the oh god dude oh we got a shroud root down here Oh, they sh they spit at you! Ew! Stop that! All right, so this cave passage was just for a little shroud route. We'll take it. Let's get out of here, though. <laughs> I hate this. Okay, so then we can go around the side over here, but I'm guessing we're not going to be able to get much further than that. Because that is going to be our world boundary. Yeah, it just kind of... That's just where she ends. So that's it over there. We've got more up this way. It's not a huge expansion. I'm quickly figuring that out. Like, it's not massive in terms of scale, but it is just dense because of the terrain. Like, does that make sense? Like, it's not a lot of ground to cover, but covering the ground takes a lot of effort. Um, mainly because you have got the... Um, just like I said, just how dense the vegetation is dude i'm not even interested in what you're selling dude all right let's try and get out of here i i, I just want i want to leave okay fuck that all right what's over this way another pathway leading to i don't know what is this oh Oh, well, hello. What is all this? Okay, there we go. Oh man, that didn't help. That didn't help at all. This is my biggest challenge yet, platforming. Ow! How do I make it over here? Okay. But I'm guessing this leads back outside. Oh, hello. Uh, read this. Larger than life. What a wonderful hidden temple. This room is foreboding and dusty, but I find myself most intrigued by its entry. Did the ancients craft these incredibly gigantic doors for their breed, or does their origin surpass that of the ancients? 
were the people living here eons ago just very tall or something? <laughs> tall fellows are overrated. I'd, lo I'd love a stout, short king instead. <laughs> With a build like that, they'd fit perfectly into the rest of our family. Raylan. Shout out to the short kings. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Oh, there's something over there that I want. Um, Alright, well, tally ho. What is this? Warrior trousers, alright. So where was this? This was over here. So yeah, these things are just tucked away everywhere. I'm kind of curious about what this is up here. You see that on the map? Like these three points? I'm kind of curious about what those are. But based on the uh, the opening, I would say, yeah, the, the ancients were pretty tall from the looks of everything. Let's just see if we can find our way up here. If that's just trees or columns or if that is something of interest. What do we got up here? Oh, it's a, it's a booker camp. Okay. All right, we're going in. Fine. We can tangle all of that. Yeah, just a little watch out post. Kind of cool though. Okay, and again, we are all the way up here. Which means in the dying light, can I just get a little bit of a layer of the. Never mind. It's gone completely to nighttime. Alright, we're gonna head back home. Usually I don't use the fast travel so much, but because we're doing some serious exploration and I want to kind of fill in some points, I am using it a little bit. Um, I often say it just leads to better adventures when you don't use it as much, but um, I am going to use it just so we can kind of like get back out very quickly so we can keep exploring. So we're going to get back home and look at that. We are right back home. I wish I had teleportation. I hold it is one of the greatest abilities you could ever have. Um, in the question, whenever you have like, you know, people go like, oh, what superpower would you have if you could have only one? And you can't be like, oh, I'd be Superman. No, you have to pick one singular ability. And there's a quest down there. Um, I have got to say teleportation, in my opinion, trumps all of them. I'll explain why in the morning, so I'll catch you then. Want to hear an early rendition? Finer things in life. Don't call me vain, but I miss the old fashion of the old world. Bright colours, luxurious fabric, the pretty people wearing them, and their even prettier riches. Maybe you can still find some garments out there. Wouldn't hurt to look. So what did she just give us? Is that all located up here? No. Where is she sending us? Music sheet location. Oh, look at that. Nothing at the blue goblet, which I'm very surprised by, but that is Fort Kelvin. There's a music sheet over here. Oh. You know, that kind of makes me want to go check it out. But, hang on, I promised you an explanation on teleportation. Um, my wife groans whenever this conversation comes up, which you'd be surprised how often it does with us. I just think teleportation is better than any other ability. Um, purely because, if it, when it comes to fighting, I can either teleport away from the fight, or I can teleport the other person into the stratosphere and then teleport back, and they just have a very long, uncomfortable fall. Um, if you want to use it for more nefarious reasons, some people, like my wife, would argue invisibility is, like, the best thing ever. Um, I'm like, well, no, teleportation, I can get in and out of anywhere, wherever I want, whenever I want to. Um, and also just the pure convenience reasons of just being able to teleport wherever you want at any time. You want to go uh, spend the day in Japan, you can just teleport there, spend the day, teleport back home. It's just, I, I think it's an unbeatable power, but if you have that, if you've thought about this as much as I have, which I've spent way too much time thinking about it, let me know what you think. Um, I'm, I'm curious. Maybe we'll, we'll have a little friendly debate in the comments and see if we can convince the other person if our power is better. Now, one second, because I do want to go have a bit of a look at something. Uh, what is that over there? Have I been over there before? Hold on. Hold on. I was going to do something, but now I'm just curious if I've been over to this location. I think I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember making my way out here. There should be a whole bunch of people in this tower thing. And then there was that one. We've already been through that. And then we had a little encampment over here. Okay, let me just get up somewhere a little bit safer. 
Because I do need to consult my phone, because there are locations that have been updated, and I'm curious to find out about where they are, and what they are. Okay, so for reference, these are all the overhauled locations that I kind of want to have a look at, and one of them has a music sheet, which I feel like maybe that's where they put all the music sheets in these overhauled locations. So the Pillars of Creation, which we've been to before, um, that's been overhauled, as well as the Elixir Well in the Nomad Highlands, and the towns of Fort Kelvin, Hillock, and Ferndale have received a major overhaul. So I'm very curious. Let's start with Fort Kelvin. I want to find music sheets. I want to play different tunes. So that was over here. That is waypoint. And let's go to my home up here. So I should be able to get over there pretty easy. So can we spot the town? Yeah, just over there. Oh yeah, that's a that's a major city now. Hold on, let's go. Look at this. This ain't nothing like it was. Oh, dude, what the f- When did the wolf committee come out to vi visit? Get out of here. Holy damn. Oh, this has had, like, the Willow Crush treatment. Oh, this is completely different. Dude, alright. We've got lots of Vuka. Give me a second here. So, Fort Kelvin was... Yeah, basically like a, a stronghold against everything that was happening. Something is angry. That is creeping me out. What is it? Alright, that's it. I've had enough. Dude, what is that noise? I'm losing my mind. Oh, they're up here. Got it. Oh my god, you were annoying. But anyway, I had a thought while I was looking through here, right? Like, Fort Kelvin was meant to be a bastion. They were talking about how Fort... I can still hear shit. Oh, you... I... Dude! Dude, I am... I'm tripping. I'm tripping. What? What is that? Okay. We can see what I want to talk about from here anyway. So we're talking about how they had to hole up against everything. And you can see like I had to break down some barricades in here. Um, that is so cool that that has actually just been kind of implemented a little bit more. That's it. I've had enough. Who is it? You? Shut up! I'm trying to investigate and explore and y'all are just running around up here like... Shut up! So yeah, this would have been like the initial town entrance. Had some outlying houses, maybe some stores and things like that. And then you would have had like the watchtower and like the, the guards kind of sitting here at the main gate. And then you come across here into the city proper. Oh, this is so different. I Look, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I cannot remember what episode we came here in. It was very early on. Um, But I can definitely tell you it is very very different and look at this you've got all the beds like they were saying how it was one of the things that didn't make sense in the law to me at the time that they said like oh you know there's a bed this is a refuge and you can see how many beds there are everywhere that they're using all available space to try and feed these people or to keep them safe give them somewhere to sleep at least um, because as the shroud rolled in it was kind of a why who locked the toilet did you just lock yourself in here and go out on the toilet that's 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 a shame um, how they were basically a refuge, and as the shroud rolled in, they were trying to... This was essentially the only safe place. Um, and so you can kind of see that, for this area at least, it was the only safe place, that they've got all these beds everywhere. That's so cool. What little touches can do to the lore and the world and how it feels. Alright. What's in here? Oh, what oh, shit? Fuck rats! Ooh! Why? The rats... What scares me the most is the rats. Yeah, so something was coming up from underground. We read this before, but we must keep this place safe. After all, Fort Kelvin is our last retreat. So for this area, this was a very significant place. 
in keeping things safe. Now, is there a grappling point somewhere up here? This feels like there would be. Oh, hello, what's this? Uh -huh. I ran into the wall. Cool. Love that for me. And there we go. All right, toppy tip. This is what I mean with these updates as well. Like, they've obviously got the new shiny areas that are completely brand new, never seen before, but then they do things like this to areas you've been to. And I just want to come back and explore, and it's like a whole new experience all over again. What is that? Is this it? Ooh, new song. And wouldn't you know it, I just so happen to have my loot along for me, so... Of these flaming heartbeat. What's this one? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's the battle music. That's so cool. Bleeding memory. Oh, listen to me just serenading. It's the little things, everybody. I don't know what else to say. This stuff just makes me so unbelievably happy. That's the big watchtower. More places to hold out. And you can see catapults on the walls now. So you can really get that idea that they were really kind of holding out and trying to keep things at bay. This was where we found our music note. What's up here? There's an area up here. It feels like where the important people were, you know? Like, you got a whole... Okay, two... Enough. So this makes me feel like this is where the important people were, you know? What is up there? Alright, easy does it. Just have a look. Oh, hello. Booker. Unwelcome sight. Get out of here. Oh, what's this? It's like a little house all the way out here. Dude. What are you gonna do, dude? Nothing. Give me Vaka. Oh, look at that. A note we haven't found before. The Vuka. If any soul finds this, take heed. Fort Kelvin has succumbed to the Vuka. We fought bravely, but the beast proved too powerful. They have an aura of unearthly strength. If you must face them, I implore you to seek out the source of their otherworldly might, the statue where they make sacrifices to their wretched gods. Whether it will be enough in to turn the tide, I cannot say. So the Booker eventually undid these people. At one point in time, I thought they were relatively peaceful, um, only violent through necessity, but no, it seems like they were warmongering in their own right. Very interesting. Oh, I love all these little details, the grates and things in the ground. Oh, I just adore this. It's just, it's the little details, everybody. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I, what? <laughs> and just excuse me for a second while I get my rested bonus back. And we are going to go to our next location. So I'm just going to figure that out while we're waiting. Okay, so there apparently is uh, a music sheet here somewhere. I just don't know if it can spawn because my base is here. I think because this is my base, I can't access it. It should be on one of these tables. I just quickly looked it up, but yeah, it looks like it's not spawning. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. I hate that. I don't want to. Oh, hello, what's this? Ah, uh, finding cosmetic items. That's back at Woodguard. All right, well, we're gonna mark that off as our waypoint. I'm gonna see this is getting us some more um, cosmetic gear, which is kind of really cool. I know this episode has sort of been all over the place, but I have just been having a ball getting out and just exploring different areas. Some of the Black Mire, some of the places we've been to before. It's just a never-ending adventure with this game. I just, I adore it so much. Now it is getting to nighttime, so... We're gonna just let nighttime creep in. Oh yeah, it's already, it's already happening. So I'm gonna get some sleep and we're gonna go... Find ourselves... Um, some, some cosmetic gear, I guess. I'm wondering what exactly we're gonna be able to find. Is it gonna be better than this? I don't think so. But, you know, we'll give it a chance. So supposedly down here is where we are going. Oh, I remember coming here before. 
Is this the big church that scared the hell out of me? I had to sleep here. Yeah, Woodguard. <gasps> oh, I loved Woodguard. Apart from the fact that it scared the hell out of me. Because um, look at this. Hello. This is the first run-in I ever had with Hollows. And I slept in this little corner over here. Um, it was not a very fun time for me. <laughs> so we need to head down here. Where I can't see a goddamn thing. That here. Aha! Oh, a noble dress. All right. So we found noble pants and noble dress. Uh, the pike. Interesting. Okay. Do I... Uh, fast travel. Let's go here. All right. Now we need to make our way back to the pike. That was a whole horrific experience. Although, again, I do actually really like the pike. I think it's so well done. I think I loved it so much because at the time, before they did all these updates, um, it was the only really well-built-up city, you know? Everywhere else just felt like little villages um, and things like that. Me talking casually doesn't really match this really intense music, but <laughs> um, everywhere just felt like little villages. Um, barely even what you could possibly classify as like a town or something. Um, and so the pike was such a difference, um, such a different location because, I mean, nothing still matches its scale, right? Like, it is absolutely huge. Um, but I remember seeing, like, a proper built-up area of civilization for the first time. Um, nothing's quite like it, honestly. Yeah, I just remember coming in here and the first time you actually got to see what a big capital kind of looked like. Um, that is still so cool. Now, somewhere around here is a bunch of notes about that lover's quarrel, which I still want to find the rest of, which, to jog your memory, uh, it was this one here. It absolutely cracked me up when I found it. Look at this. Basically, this lady cheated. Uh, the husband found out. Um, I responded to the advert. He obviously put in the pike weekly to know he, and know he plans to kill me. I will meet him at the chamber with a dagger in my body. So basically, they, they were going to outright kill each other. I want to know how that ended. I'm missing two pieces. I'm missing how it started, and I'm missing how it ended. I just know the middle. I just know we arrived at, we need to kill each other. <laughs> Damn, this brings, this takes me back. I remember coming through here the first time, being having no idea what was waiting for me on the other side. Um, but I might very well need to kill the wisp wyvern again. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. And I don't have a bow, and I needed a bow for last time. Okay, well maybe I can, maybe I can just do some heavy damage now that I'm a beefy boy. Whoa! Oh yeah, actually, you know what? This isn't so much of a problem. This is gonna take longer than I would like, but I'm a, I'm a tanky boy now. All that regen coming in absolutely clutch. Not really even something for us to worry about. Get out of here. And now we've got our jump attack. We can just AoE everything. Not to mention, I whip around like a goddamn Beyblade, so... And especially with the blink just to get us out of trouble, it's not really even a, even a problem. This is nothing. Look at how far we've come. No, that is so satisfying. All right, so I'm guessing you'll drop your key again. Yes, you will. Oh, what's that? Commander's ring and, yeah, key to the pipe. Hello. Oh, hello. I never saw this note. Oh, this is Valerie. So this is new because Val... Okay, cool. So, call to adventure. Market days were my favorite. The fateful day I traded the farm vegetables for stories and secrets until a familiar melody made me pause. The same tune that called me into the forest so long ago was beckoning me once more. I dropped my sacks of grain and followed it. I found a bard surrounded by a swaying crowd playing the bewitching symphony on flute. Something inside of me blossomed like a forgotten seed. Get your head out of the clouds, my father yelled that evening, spitting his mashed potatoes onto the dinner table. You've got the wrong blood. Look at your hands. They're bulky and strong, not made to fiddle around. He stuffed his mouth with a dry piece of bread and washed it down with well water. You're a farmer, kid. Can't change it. Valerie. Well, guess what? Valerie did indeed become a bard. So suck it. All right, I, I hate all of this, but I'm trying to think, where would I find all this stuff? Ha! Ah! Well, yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, God. I nearly killed myself right then. How do I always do it? 
All right, let's see what we got. Did that look like a king's outfit? I am gorgeous. Look at me go. I am absolutely stunning. Hell yeah. All right, now the other one. And now I am the king. I am the king of everything. <laughs> this looks so stupid. Oh my god, I'm not sure about these pants. Like, what is going on down here? What is that? I'm wearing shorts and pants at the same time. Pick one. Stick to it. Oh, yeah. This a bop. an idiot but that is going to be all for this episode i hope you've had a good time again i aimlessly wander around i explore this game just lights me up like nobody's business in terms of just exploring especially we've seen a lot of this area i dare say we've almost seen all of it so you know the drill by now leave a like if you enjoyed the video comment anything below again i love to hear about your own adventures and anything you've come across and how you're finding everything in the updates as well what do you think of the new one because i think it's pretty pretty decent honestly um, I think maybe it wasn't as big as maybe all of us were expecting, but they've done such nice quality of life updates, um, refined more of the world that we explore out here as well. Again, that always excites me so much, and we've got plenty more to see that I haven't had time to do today. Um, but other than that, of course, subscribe if you're new. But yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be all for today. Um, so from me and my stupid crown, bye for now. <laughs>